Jeremy Clarkson Stiddley Squat Farm Shop opened in 2020 and has been a hit among fans of the Clarkson's Farm series. Prime Video said the show, which sees the former Top Gear host manage an Oxfordshire farm, will return on February 10, 2023. On the farm shop's official Instagram account it has been announced that Diddley Squat is set to temporarily close for a month in January. Sharing a photo of a cow posing alongside Diddley Squat's farm gin they informed their 840,000 followers the shop will soon close. On December 26 the post read, 5 days of Diddley 2022 left. Open tomorrow, Saturday. Then closed until February 10. Taking to the picture sharing site today, they urged customers to have a bite to eat before they shut. It read, at Based Food serving our delicious burgers, local sausage and bacon baps until Saturday. Diddley Squat Farm Shop will then be closed until February 10. Fans flocked to comment on the post, as Brian wrote, over from Australia catching up with family and friends. Sadly, we couldn't get to visit this time, but it's already marked for our next trip in a couple of years' time. Gemma commented, We visited yesterday the food was amazing. Express. Co.uk has contacted Jeremy Clarkson's representatives for comment. It was previously reported Jeremy had been ordered to shut the dining areas of his farm at Diddley Squat after West Oxfordshire Council said he breached planning laws. Diddley Squat has become famous for featuring in the Amazon Prime series Clarkson's Farm. The council, on August 12, gave the former Top Gear star six weeks to undertake a catalogue of measures in order for the cafe and restaurant to remain, according to the Evening Standard. They included the removal of tables used for dining, mobile toilets and landscaping materials, while it was also instructed to stop selling products that were not produced on the farm or within a 16-mile radius without council approval. Olivia Newton-John's daughter mourns first Christmas without my mama latest Gordon Ramsay's daughter Holly, 22, marks two years being sober admission Bremnor, Bird and Fortune comedian John Bird has died aged 86 tributes, Jeremy's representatives said at the time the council's notions were excessive and the six-week period was too short for the changes to be made. They said six months would have been a more appropriate time scale. The news of his latest closure comes just days after Jeremy issued an apology over comments he made about Meghan Markle. In a recent column, Jeremy had said he hated the Duchess of Sussex. It had become the Independent Press Standards Organization's most complained about article, with more than 17,500 people contacting them over the piece. The Sun had issued an apology for publishing the column and had since removed it from its website. Jeremy also took to Twitter and said he was horrified to have caused so much hurt and said he would be more careful in future. Prince Harry and Meghan have since reacted to the Sun's apology over Jeremy's controversial column saying it was nothing more than a PR stunt.